The 2011 edition of the annual Carbon Disclosure Project Global 500 report, published on September 14th, which examines carbon reduction activities at the world's largest public corporations, including many in Canada, has found for the first time in the 10-year history of the survey that the majority have climate change actions embedded as part of their business strategy. The report, written by PricewaterhouseCoopers on behalf of CDP, attributes this to growing board-level awareness of the link between energy efficiency and increased profitability. The report revealed that 68% of the world's largest companies have climate change at the heart of business strategies, compared with 48% in 2010. ILSTV spoke with Paul Simpson, CEO of the Carbon Disclosure Project, and asked him if the findings in the report suggest a move towards a low-carbon economy. The 2011 CDP Global 500 report shows that for the first time in the 10-year history of the Investor CDP survey that companies are embedding climate change actions into their core business strategy. In fact, a majority of companies have done so, 68% of respondents this year. In addition, we see an increasing number of companies adopting emissions reduction targets. 74% have done so this year, showing that boardrooms are increasingly understanding the strategic need to do so. So great progress is being made by a majority of companies. However, to see a truly low carbon economy, we're going to need to see far more significant action from corporations, investors and governments. One finding that came out of the report this year was that a high percentage of corporations are offering their staff incentives to come up with ways to reduce their organization's carbon footprint. Alan McGill, a partner in PwC's Sustainability and Climate Change Division, explains. I think one of the things that's come out this year from the CDP um, report is that 65% of companies now have uh, incentive schemes in place for their staff. Uh, looking at how they can incentivize them to change their behavior and drive innovation into their organizations. We've seen and, and we've had disclosed you know, over 1,780 different types of initiatives for carbon reductions being put in place now uh, by these organizations, which just shows a huge breadth uh, and depth uh, of initiatives that are being undertaken. And those span across the entire business uh, and the business model being operated by many organizations.